Hi everyone. It is Wednesday, May the 27th, and God gets him, and God gets in in hymns. I did something this week that was hard for me. I recorded just my voice singing in a video and uploaded that to be included in a virtual choir. Now, most of you know that I love to sing, and I sing loud and out when at the front of the church leading worship. But my voice in those times is blended with music and with other voices. The singing that I did on Monday, though, had music only in my ears while I was recording my voice singing the hymn onto my phone. It was raw, and I was vulnerable, and I was very uncomfortable, but I did it. And I believe that it was important for me to do so. I think it's imperative for me in this time to move beyond my personal discomfort because at this time, this is one of the only ways that I can come up with how we're going to sing in church. One of the only ways that is safe for me to sing hymns with others. And I really miss singing hymns with others. I also think that this is the only way we're going to be able to sing in church with others until there is a vaccine for COVID-19. And hymns are so important to the life of a church. Hymns allow us to sing our story. This is our story, this is our song, praising creation all the day long. Some hymns are even story. Into the city I'd follow the children's band, waving a branch of the palm tree high in my hand. The hymns we sing, we sing our theology. God in the Bible, God in the gospel, hope seen in Jesus, hope yet to come. You are our center, daylight or darkness, freedom or prison, you are our home. Hymns let us sing our psalms. Our psalms are some of the oldest words in the Bible, prayers that our ancestors prayed for millennia. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie. Our hymns talk about our Christology. That's who Jesus was and who Jesus is and how Jesus came to be. I danced in the morning when the world was begun and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun and I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth at Bethlehem I had my birth. Hymns connect us to the past. Jesus loves me, this I know, and the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, in his love they shall be strong. When I was 10 years old, I sang this hymn at my Grandma Davies' funeral. Whenever I sing that hymn, I remember my grandma. Hymns remind us that we are on a lifelong journey with God and with others. We are pilgrims on a journey, fellow travelers on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and bear the load. Him speak into the seasons of our lives. Silent night, holy night. Jesus Christ is risen today. Hallelujah. I was there to hear your morning cry. I'll be there when you are old. In a bulb there is a flower, in the seed an apple tree. And more importantly, hymns matter in our lives as well. Hymns connect us to God. They remind us of who and whose we are. They are our prayers. They are our resting places. They are the melody of our lives. Deep in our hearts there is a common vision. Deep in our hearts there is a common song. Deep in our hearts there is a common story. Telling creation that we are one. 
The psalmist puts it best when he reminds us in Psalm 104, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Blessed the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Amen. So may your week be blessed and may God get in via the hymns in your heart and on your mind and in your voice. Blessings all.